Good morning, and welcome to another cold day here in the UK. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Um, so today I'm just gonna show you over a customer's bike that I've just built. Um, a lady called Julie uh, come to me and just said, the bike's not fast enough, I wanna go quicker, can you GY6 swap it and put some nice bits on it here and there? And also, can you do like the disc brake conversion and stuff? So, I've done all that. Um, I'll show you around the bike. We'll go through a little spec list like we normally do uh, and some nice cinematics. So, let's get to it. All right, so here's the bike and it's, uh, finished glory uh, started off with a sort of like a grey frame uh, bare metal front frame this sort of like cagey thing on the top uh, stock uh, stock on the back so basically I've just given it a good refresh a new custom handlebar setup and then we've also gone and put like the custom handlebars the trail tech vapor um, I did have to drill here and here and make a little little bracket and countersunk it all nicely. Um, so put the start button here, uh, NCY gas tank cover, um, the TRS coil and pump bracket with the pump on it, um, 30 mil OKO carburetor with a um, with a rad filter we've also because she wanted reliability I've put this sort of like one-way valve in so it keeps the fuel up so as guys may know that when you crank a GY6 over it takes a little while for the fuel to go up the line and in into there and you can actually run your battery out in that time so we put that little measure in to aid with the reliability standard CVT um, with the kickstart and just rooted all the lines. We've got the Ruck Shops billet uh, stretch kit or an engine mount, uh, NCY brake cable, go into the Ruck Shops um, hub, then we've got the Ruck Shops uh, adjustable suspension. Uh, that's really about it for the back end. It's very, very sort of almost stock 150 sort of look, look to it. Um, it's got these nice little sort of like hot rods or Harley Davidson style lights on the back they're pretty cool um, obviously we've got the 12x8 and then we've got the Ruck Shops uh, old school uh, wheels and then we've got the TRS carbon exhaust pipe which is lovely it sounds really good it fits easy um, so all the wiring's in try to make it as weather proof as possible and as easily serviceable so should she need to change anything so for example the stator everything is just unclip and away you go um, also we put the trail tech uh, pickup on there so that's been wrapped in a uh, low friction teflon tape uh, that's really about it this side obviously we've got the the seat which has been nicely retrimmed uh, using the the stock uh, swivel so everything is accessible should you need to. Um, the wire tucks along, like I usually do. All the vacuum lines. I think I've already said about the NCY tank cover. We painted the frame, uh, clipped all the, the loom in. So coming up to the bars, we've got the NCY throttle grip tube assembly. The uh, these levers I got off of. I think it was AliExpress. They cost me like seven pound, but the the pull on them is really good. 
um, and they came with the inbuilt um, brake sensors so I was quite happy with that um, so this was grey headlight has all been like re restored indicators are a nice little touch up there because they're not invasive um, again old school front wheel and the Michelin power pure tires front and back uh, NCY slammed forks with a uh, titanium neochrome axle workshop hub as well we're using the standard triple tree which we just refreshed and then we got the 220 mil rotor the trail tech pickup and then that all roots roots up but yeah that's really about it she's a nice very nice to sit on bike i mean it does ride nicely it's very uh I'll sit on it now. When you sit on it, there's not a crazy amount of space. It just is very comfortable to sit on, and I'm really impressed with it. Um, obviously, we've got the lowered kickstand, so the bike does have a nice lean to it. Um, yeah, let's get to some cinematics. And then we'll start the bike up. running get a little sound clip of that exhaust this is just cold it's really cold so it's like I can actually see the breath out of my face so lovely little bike runs like a dream right, I hope you're happy uh, with the bike um, I know the customer is really excited to get her back. Now I know that was a, a real short, quick little video. Um, but if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I really want to hit that 1,000 subscribers. So next video, we'll be getting back onto the white ruck. Um, engine is on the side there, it's been finished, it's got the ankle biter on ready. Um, I've already started mocking up the turbo manifold, um, I've done the first weld. Uh, so that is now giving me the path from the header down and I can then start mocking where the turbo is going to sit. Um, that will be in the next video so please stay tuned, hit the bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next one.